what's going on everybody and happy monday hope everybody has had a good start to the day today auntie ann i see you're in here already hello old tim at ridge life what's going on brother greg and gina hello hello Rob, what's going on uh oh, oh. volumes volumes what's up brenda sutterfield thank you so much lisa works hard on uh doing the videos ah. no way tim said the dozer video is real thursday 7 p.m premiere day that's what he said that's what he said but i'm not gonna be there he's missed like the last three of my premieres no. so i'm probably not gonna be there <laughs> Oh, yeah. As I'm Auntie Ann said you were being a diva tonight. Huh, no, Auntie Ann, I've been working nonstop. Literally, nonstop. It's a, uh, I ain't gonna lie, it's been kicking my butt. Yesterday, yesterday, I, I, I had a, I had a fight. I like, I, I, Mike Tyson and Holyfield at the same time <laughs> came at me and was like, hit me with, with all kinds of uh, punches out of left field. But, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Mentally, I was, I was, and physically, last night I was done by about ten o'clock, and I woke up this morning too, and really had a real hard time kind of getting going. That's why I did my keeping it real on the road, going to town today, because I needed to just kind of get away and kind of refocus a little bit or whatever. And then I came right. back and started chipping it away. And uh, Mike came up here this morning, and he seen the disaster I was dealing with man and it was a mess and uh how's it look now <laughs> transformed yeah transformed liam mclaughlin hello hello it is official guys from that door right there going into the bathroom through the kitchen and all of that is 100 percent complete Eesh. finally no more construction no more construction i still got to put the canned goods in the kitchen and stuff like that the food the grocery stuff like that but all the major appliances are in all of the light switches are in the trims done windows in lights in everything's done Man. everything's done and the bathroom guys i'm not going to tell you it's a work of art i'm not even gonna lie that that bathroom impressed me a little bit right and uh the new window and stuff in the kitchen and there has been huge changes since y'all seen the kitchen huge i spent four hours one night with a three inch paintbrush in that kitchen uh doing some stuff so i blocked mark robertson twenty dollar super chat half of this is for dd5 he blocked me give it to Alyssa, i guess <laughs> what I don't know about that, Mark. We'll have to we'll have to look into that. I don't know about that. I have to do a deep dive. We already got 458 people in here. And and typically Mike doesn't do the blocking anyway. It is Lissa that puts the hammer down and blocks people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't you don't want to mess with old Lissa. Oh, what just happened? Hello from the Bahamas. Uh Miss Elva Cartwright. Hello, hello. Hello, Elvis. That's a cool name. Kurt uh Karen Herky, hello. Karen, hey, I just put some of your soap actually on my kitchen sink yeah, as okay. well. Um, I'm going to use some of that uh, on my kitchen sink as well for washing your hands and stuff like that. White Rock Homestead, hey, hey, all you beautiful people. What's going on, Jason and Tara? What's going on? I barely talk to them. I've been talking to them every day. I barely talk to them today. I've been, I've been, man, I've been on a mission. I've been on a mission. It looked like a bomb exploded on Come On Mountain after this construction project I just got through doing. And it was messing with my mentals, guys. It was, I don't do well with a mess all around me. And it was bad. I was literally sleeping in a tunnel right there. <laughs> this whole side of the bed right here was completely full of stuff. And the bathroom that I just finished was completely full of stuff. And when you walked out the door, it was just, a nightmare right but we got it worked out yeah hey, uh, eva wilson said uh what you mentioned that when you worked at the chicken farm you weren't allowed to have your own chickens why was that it's because of disease um they have to protect the industry right if you have your own you know birds and stuff it wasn't just chickens i wasn't allowed to have no kind of bird species nope. i can have turkeys no 
uh, quail, nothing. Um, because if you bring one of the diseases to there and affect their whole operation, yeah, it's catastrophic. Yeah, and uh, they're very uh, particular about that. You have like little sand things that you have to step in before you enter buildings and mm-hmm. like all kinds of stuff. When you go back into the processing area where they're processing the chickens, it's full blown like nets, beard nets, like uh, look like a doctor with the doctor coat on. You got right. rubber booties on your. I, I mean, it's a whole operation. Speaking of chickens, Neil Neil S said, uh, David, how are the chickens doing? Are they starting to use the nesting boxes? Um, be honest with you, there I still only got the one nesting box. I have been nonstop on this project inside the tiny house. I do not want to stop on this project until it's done. Um, I have all the tools out and all that other stuff, and we are supposed to get rain this week, so I haven't stopped. Um, They are using the one nesting box, but some of them are still laying on the ground, and I've already got one that then went broody. (laughs) And, uh, and, oh, uh, my rooster's been uh, beating his butt, honestly, beating her butt here lately so it's been kind of crazy i missed some super chats here phyllis smith 49.99 thank you. thank you so so very much and then let's see here robert uh but long great job with the chickens looking good hey, speaking of which what y'all think about that chicken video i thought it was a really good video a great premiere i had a blast filming it i had a blast making it i made that whole chicken coop guys with 14 dollars Man, and that was just for the two tarps and some zip ties. And honestly, it's probably cheaper than that because I got the cheaper tarps. And more than likely, those zip ties were free because Harbor Freight's always giving you free stuff. And I always choose zip ties. Right. Because I use a lot of zip ties. Right. Tim said, what chicken video? The premiere you missed, Tim. Oh, the the (laughs) premiere. Just like I'm going to miss your dozer video. (laughs) David Moffitt's hanging out with us. What's going on, David Moffitt? We was just talking about you before the live. Uh, I got the barn door kit. And uh, I am a tomorrow. I'm gonna put all my groceries in the kitchen and all that, and finalize all of that from being done. And then next live, guys, this room's gonna look a little different to y'all. So much different. We're putting two windows in here. And uh, when I'm in doing that whole project, I'm probably gonna go ahead and build the shelf above the behind the air conditioner. And being that you were so graciously uh gave me the barn door kit that i need yeah. to make the barn door i'm probably going to go ahead and make the barn door to be able to close the bedroom off from the bathroom which you, is gonna and be you guys awesome. wouldn't even believe that the barn door <laughs> measurements insane man yeah it's exactly these two openings the closet door and the the entrance going in there is exact it's exact it's not even an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch off. It's exact. So. Robert uh, Budling just gifted five come on memberships. Thank oh, you so nice. much, Robert. And on top of that, your barn door kit that you gave me was the exact measurement that needed to be. So it's uh, the way I seen it. That was just too many exacts not to go ahead and build that door. Right. Why I have all of the uh, stuff in here. Uh, Rhonda Cagle and the kids. I have not forgot about the youth size merch, guys. I've just been nonstop. I, I, I truly have. I've been. Yeah. I, I, I have canceled my Florida trip. Uh, I'm not going to go to Florida. Um, I just don't have the time, nor do I have the finances right now. Um, I just put out a lot of money to complete these projects. This, this stuff ain't free. Yeah. You know. And also, I just bought that land. So um, I'm going to see most of the family I was going to see in May for the meetup anyways. Yep. Uh, the only two that I'm not going to get to see, which I'm sad about, is my daughter and my youngest granddaughter. But the plan is for my oldest granddaughter to come here for a month of summer as well. Nice. And uh, I will see them whenever I go pick her up or drop her off. So. But my parents are coming, my brother's coming, my niece and nephews are coming, my son's coming up for the meetup. So I'm going to see everybody in May anyways. And uh, plus I have like three Oklahoma trips I need to make and a Mississippi trip. So um, I decided it just it didn't make financial and time sense to do it right now in March. Right. I mean, with me getting sick, it threw everything off because normally I go at the end of January every year. So it is what it is. Yeah. Ridge Life. So David will say this, old blue rocks. <laughs> no, it doesn't. 
The Dozer video is real. Thursday at 7 p.m. premiere with the link. Hmm. I mean, I know the video is real because I've seen the footage. It's just Tim went real at like getting it done. Yeah. I mean, because we all know Tim don't work. No work rich, right? No work rich. No work rich, right? And now that, you know, Tim's getting on up there in age, you know, he, he has a hard time even riding side by sides. He stepped out and tore his MCL because he doesn't work and stay flexible. That's so right. um, he stepped out of his uh, thing and he, you know, tore his MCL and everything. So now he has, now he's got time to do the dozer. He's got lots of, uh, down lots time. of time. So I ain't going to lie. If he didn't get the, the dozer video done, I would have been, I'd have been talking smack because he basically calls me throughout the day, every day. And I'm like, Tim, some of us work, buddy. I'm working. What do you need? Every day. Every day. I love you, Tim. Jacques Lovstrom. Hello, hello. Uh, Jonathan James is hanging out with us. What's up, guys? What's going on, Gumby? Karen Breast, Michigan Life Above the 45th. What's going on? Uh, Back wow. to good. Wow, my my chat just has been froze for a while. The nesting box one that I answered like 15 right. minutes ago, it was still there. Yeah, that's the terrible part. Like when you run your mouse over the screen, sometimes the chat stops, yeah. and then it, then you're behind. Hurley May, hey, hello, hello. David, Tim, Mike, Mel, etc. Is Mel in here? Is SLR in here? Let's see. I'm I can sure. chat. Hold on. Treasure Hunter Neil, what's oh, going on? Oh, they are in here. Uh -huh. Simple life reclaim. What's up, fam? See, I know how to check. I hit my little at, yeah, at yep. sign and uh, see if they pop up. Uh, there they are. There they are. Hey, everybody. I found you. Right. Uh, Susie Jacobson. Hello, hello. The Simple life reclaim has actually seen the progress on the mountain. I sent them some pictures or whatever. They can chime in and give you another perspective of it i'm a little biased because i build it all right but, right um i actually have my resident electrician now you know things are desperate when this is my <laughs> resident electrician and while i was out there cleaning up i was like man he's a messy electrician man terrible. you had stuff like oh, yeah, all my clippings yeah like everywhere i'm like uh, 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 now, uh, in my defense, my head wasn't in the game of being the residential yeah, electrician. he wasn't even planning on because i called you I, well i was uh, in the middle of getting all my tools together and everything like that, because our friend Junk at Jim's homestead came over and helped me work on old Bessie. And as I'm in the middle of getting everything, I get a call from Uncle David. He said, Hey, I need my residential electrician up here. Stat, I'm cutting down walls. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he came up and I put him to work. Yeah. Um, basically, what we're doing originally, this wasn't supposed to be a house. So I, I didn't think nothing about no porch lights or nothing like that. Well, where I'm putting the windows at, it just happens to be right there. I got to take all the siding off anyways, right by the light switches and the doors. Mm -hmm. So we're adding a double gang and another light switch and putting porch lights on as well. We already got the one down on the kitchen. If you part of come on, keeping it real. Um, then you've already seen it because yep. I did a little sneak peek. And when we do this front room right here, we'll be doing the same as well. Also, I'm not the only one that's been grinding, guys. Learn with Nana, my mother. Um, if all my mods could please spam her link for a little while. She's been putting out some videos. Has she? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh I've been seeing all the notifications pop up and everything. She's been putting out some videos. She went down to Tampa uh, for my sister-in-law to help my sister-in-law out after surgery. And she's been she's been grinding. She's been getting it done. So if you would put her link in there, please. I don't know if she's in here yet or not. Let's see here. Nope. Nope. She's not here yet. But yeah, definitely uh go check her out. Tell her that uh, being that she's in here, she don't even know this is going on. Thank you, Cindy Brown. So go over there and uh, watch all of her new videos and tell her, you know, your son snuck in there and told us to come check this out. Hey, and uh, and I think Neil's got a point. Old Neil said uh, at Come On Home Setting, Mike must be a pretty good at electrical if the house hasn't burned down yet. <laughs> hey, I keep calling him. Hey, I can twist a wire nut with the best of them. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. The things that we're doing right there. 
it's definitely something I can do yeah. as well. But he's he did all the electric in this house, and I'm not going to come in in the ninth hour and add a little something here and then take his glory. Yeah. I told him, I said, if you're busy and can't do it, I'll do it. But I know that you've done did it all, right. so it, it's cool that you're it, the one that did the electric. It makes there. me feel good to yeah. say, hey, man, I, I actually wired up the whole yeah, house. Yeah, that was my project. Right. You know what I mean? He's helped me with all kinds of little things, but the electric, I've been completely hands off. The only part of the electric I did was I installed the breaker box. Right. That was it. As far as running it and all the wires and all the cable management in there and all of that, that's all All this guy right here. It seems that he's better with electrical than tractors. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He don't know how to drive a tractor. He got Uber stuck, guys. <laughs> how do you get Uber stuck? Oh, man, yeah. He came up here and told me, I got Uber stuck. And I, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I, said, I said a curse word. I said, said, how in the... <laughs> <laughs> did you get uber stuck and then when i watched the video I, it didn't take me but a second to realize why yeah he he didn't know that uber had a couple of capabilities that he didn't know about mm. that and he also didn't use the bucket properly to i did to attempt back. to <laughs> use the bucket at first i actually put the camera down because i got serious at that point i was trying to push myself out but i didn't do a good job so i figured at that point before i do anything else i'm just gonna go get a lift uh shallow areas uh yeah sorry david i need to catch up on your channel did see the fired up friday though because i've been binge watching your mama <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, i appreciate it yeah that's another big one guys did a, uh the first cook in the kitchen wish the kitchen don't look not like it did uh then as it does now yeah um but we did the first cook in the kitchen while white rock homestead was here and i uh, had an absolutely blast uh miss white rock uh was my co-host she yeah. did the sides and uh i did uh, the pork butt for the sandwiches and stuff and it was just awesome and it ended up being a 52 minute video so i premiered it and that is the biggest fired up friday on that channel ever dang ever. nice so thank you guys if you have not went over to fired up friday yet and subscribe make sure that you do because now that I got a kitchen, there's going to be some good groceries coming your way. Yeah. For sure. That's basically what I've been waiting on. I've been waiting to get a place to cook that was also a decent place to film as well and be able to clean up and all that other stuff. And now right. I now I have that. I, I'm not going to lie. My kitchen's sexy. I like it. She, my kitchen's sexy. Is. It's got everything that you need. 826 people in here. Uh, oh, look at Domino's. <laughs> yeah. Home, uh, White Rock Homestead said, no worries, Mike. I wonder about the onions for next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm a critic, guys. I'm a, I'm a really picky eater and I'm over here picking, picking through everything and everyone else is eating like what? And I'm just like, mm. well, the way I see it is guys, that's his problem. Right. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a cook like I cook. And if he's that picky, we'll get to picking. Hey, that's what my <laughs> mama used to say. Mom yeah. used to say, Hey, if you don't like it, pick it up. I'm cooking. Uh, let's see here. Oh, look at Domino City. Yeah. Possum Run Homestead. What's up, Auntie Ann? Yeah. Uh, gooby doo 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 uh, doo doo. Gooby doo doo doo. Left a comment today on keeping it real, saying that if I go to Florida, please don't leave Domino in the cabin the whole time I'm in Florida again. Again. I've never left Domino for any long periods of time in the cabin. The only time that Domino ever stays in the cabin by himself is if I'm just like out for the night. Right. And Mike will come up and let him out and all that other stuff. If I'm going to go take a five, six day trip or whatever, Domino is not staying yeah. here by himself. He Whether he's going to go, house. he's going to yep. go with them or he comes with me. Um, when I, when I took a Missouri trip, not uh, a couple months ago or whatever, he went with me. Right. Um, the last time I went to Florida, he actually went with them. That matter of fact, that's when he got used to sleeping on a bed. Right. Right. He's down there with the old drifting dreamers. So no, he's never there that long. Um, and when he's his here by himself, he's got lights and he's got all of his yeah. bougie stuff and all that other stuff. He's good to go. Domino's always going to have anxiety. I think that's just part of his past. Um, he, yeah. he he had a dramatic past. I don't know all the details, but a little bit. And uh, Biddy Boo kind of saved him from all of that. And so 
and he's one of those dogs that attaches to like one person and that's his person yeah you know i mean you can't even go into the store without yeah. him freaking out i took him to lowe's the other day guys and i cracked the window a little bit for him you know and i was in like the middle of the parking lot and i could hear him all the way at the door whining like rah, rah, you right. know he just has separation anxiety or whatever but then he gets over it and he goes to sleep every time i come back to the truck he's just laying there sleeping yeah so it's just part of it mr mt homestead what's going on bro what's going on brother i'm gonna be seeing big mike here on the fifth on the i fifth. believe on the yeah. fifth i'm taking uber a lot of i've got a lot of questions about that also guys um I haven't took over to the shop yet. My warranty goes out on the 9th. I'm taking it into the shop on the 5th. Uh, I'm trying to take advantage of the good weather. Um, there's still a lot of stuff here that needs to happen. Um, the inside of the house is taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but uh, I'm gonna get as much done with Uber as I can before I have to take it to the shop, just in case they tell me whatever is wrong, would it take some time to right. fix? Extended, uh, yeah. extended part back order or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because spring's coming. so. Right now, um, like I said, my main goal is is to finish this tiny house because right now I have all the tools out and it, the yard's a mess. Well, it was. Now it's just where I'm cutting and stuff's a mess. So I wanted to get all of that done. So when I put the tools up, the tools are up. Yeah. You, you know, and I can focus on the outdoor stuff like the goat area and the raised beds guys i want to get some raised beds going somebody just asked about that earlier i missed yeah. the comment asked if we were going to do uh gardens and raised beds yes, this year. yes this year th this is year two working on year three and uh i wasn't really concerned with that type of stuff because i knew i just didn't have the capacity to be able to keep up with it and everything but now i can so um yeah i'm not going to do a full-blown 12 raised beds and try to grow this like market yeah. <laughs> you know garden but i would like to my goal is four but at least two decent sized little raised beds or whatever and i'm a single guy here on the mountain guys it's, it doesn't take a lot for me so i would like to grow enough to be able to share and stuff right. like that like i've i forced them to take some eggs yeah. it's because we already have so many eggs. yeah i forced them he came up here for <laughs> something and i handed him a bucket well you ain't allowed to have that let's <laughs> take these <laughs> and uh, and i figured if you're gonna have two raised beds that means all i need is two grow bags i could put whatever you put in a yeah. whole raised bed in one grow bag yeah i already figured that out but we know you're gonna disrespect the tomatoes <laughs> uh, you know everybody gave you a hard time about disrespecting but i really disrespect hey them. listen i know right i caught the most crap for disrespecting the tomatoes and my tomatoes actually live not only lived but thrived and your tomatoes <laughs> mine all i did was deliver the stuff for y'all hey my job with all of that guys it wasn't to grow the tomatoes it was to make sure that everybody that got tomatoes got them that's right and i did that that's right i you know i never once said i, I was going to be this garden master right off the rip I, I I was trying to get a toilet and a shower to be able to use. Right, right. Yeah, tomatoes was pretty low on the old uh, priority for me. 891. Okay, we Gerald, about to hit 900. Geraldine Wade, hello, or howdy from Prescott, Arizona. Love what you did to your little kitchen. Are you going to grow some fruit trees? Yes, yes. I actually wanted to do fruit trees uh, this winter, and I started making plans with a couple of people or whatever, but it fell through, and uh. We, we can grow fruit trees just about any time of the year here. So yeah. eventually, yes. Um, probably once I get going on the raised beds and get all that situated and stuff, um, next phase is definitely some fruit trees. Right. And now that I got the new property, I'm actually thinking about using the new property being as it's going to be my hunting area mm -hmm. of actually turning that also into my orchard because, you know, okay. all the deer and okay. stuff love all the fresh fruit. So Don, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. And that way, when you deal with the dead fruit, because like I said, I'm a single guy. I'm not ever going to eat all of that fruit by myself. Um, if it drops and stuff, then the wildlife around here can be able to take advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, Don Reed said, you got a name for your rooster yet. Call him Red. Nope. I'm calling him Billy Badass Biker. Yeah. That's his name. <laughs> Named after our... Uh, our uh... Uh, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Mm. I've decided my naming scheme for the chickens, and uh, yes, that's the rooster. 
and uh, I'm sure some of y'all know, and I'll probably see some laughing emojis um, here in a minute. But no, he's, uh, and I've named one of the hens already as well. Her name is Bex. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Mike had to walk out the door on that one. Uh, if you get apples, we always paid apple pie the filling. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I will tell you, oh, White Rock's not laughing. <laughs> Love the naming plan. Yep. Um, yeah, I tell you what, old Billy Badass Biker, man, he was being a jerk today. To, yeah. Uh, I have a the hen that's going broody. He was uh he was he was being a jerk, so I had to kind of intervene today a little bit. I was scared he was gonna kill her. Nice, thank you so much. Crystal Holland says, "I'm new to your channel. I've been binge watch binge watching all the videos to catch up, and I'm loving it so far. You guys are amazing, and I have a lot of much needed laughs. Thank you for that." Oh, that's awesome. Yes, we try to keep it fun, entertaining, and we enjoy doing what we're doing. I mean, we Indeed. enjoy working. We enjoy uh, we enjoy not knowing everything. But you know what I mean? It's we mess up, we have fun, and uh, we take it on the chin and keep on moving. That's real life, right? Aloha, mod. No baby bunnies yet, but sometime soon. Simple life said, bro. I wish I would have thought about the name, <laughs> naming thing. <laughs> it was listen. Mel, Gary, it is classic. It is. It's genius. Uh, let's see here. Can I get one name? Genius 111. Um, yes, uh, Tim, you can. Um, a lot of, uh, really, there's a lot coming as far as the naming scheme of the chickens and some other stuff. There's some other stuff that's going to be uh, launching and stuff that kind of goes with all of that. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of me just getting tired of stuff and not taking it anymore. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Mick too uh said, have you seen uh, have you had any 20 sightings lately? Uh no. Um the last time I seen 20 is I think whenever we did your cabin takedown. Okay. I believe that was the last time. Um but I can honestly go see 20 whenever I want. I I, I am friends with my neighbor. Yep. And, uh, he's a really good guy. If I wanted to go hang out, he's actually got a lot of horses and stuff and i would love to get some horses for my granddaughters uh one day it's just i'm not there yet and horses are expensive man and unless you're planning on breeding or racing them they don't make you no dollars they make no dollars or no cost a lot of money <laughs> you i mean we ain't taking them to the glue factory and we ain't eating them no cindy brown said robertson belly acres have posted they are not going live tonight oh nice oh nice so we go over it ain't no problem uh, Southern Bless Homestead, what's going on, guys? I just seen y'all pop in here. Come on, Homestead. Okay, we just read the same thing. Uh, Billy Jean Baldwin said, "Did I miss the name that was picked for the gray rabbit?" No. Hey, VIP, right there. Hey. Um, I was wanting to mention that, and I probably would have forgot it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so the members uh, of the Uber class of the members, which is also considered the boss tier, and uh they get to help make decisions on the mountain right and uh one of their first real decisions was i've left up to them is name the new gray rabbit and the selections was grayson gandalf or smoky smoky got 20 percent of the vote gandalf got 80 percent of the vote and grayson got wah, wah, wah. not a <laughs> so the gray bunny is named uh, Gandalf. Gandalf. Yep. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, Chanel is about to pop. So Man, she is a for all girl. of my for all my Uber tier members. Um, we're going to have some more naming to do, guys. Yay. We're going to have some more naming to do. Uh, Go Rich Life. Simple Life Reclaim said. I don't know, man. Horse tacos ain't bad. Yeah. <laughs> and it's great. Hey, Damn, my boy. If I was hungry, I'd eat anything. I ain't even gonna lie. Hey, where do you think the expression, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse come from? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was in one of those scenarios where the plane goes down in the middle of nowhere and junk and people start falling out, 
I'm about to boil it in them hands. Listen, if you, <laughs> I'm, if, I'm gonna survive. I if promise. you can eat grasshoppers and stuff like that, ain't nothing wrong with eating the little mice. Gonna starve to death. I ain't gonna lie to you. That, that boy, he's a hard person to cook with. Mike ain't gonna make it. But I'm gonna make it. Matter of <laughs> fact, I'm gonna make it off Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching him tell me he's looking a little weak today. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, though, in a situation like that, Mike might just learn to eat a few more things. <laughs> I tell you what, funny. speaking of me eating things that I don't typically eat, the first time I ever ate and enjoyed squash was when we went camping not too long ago with Country Road Cure and Simple Life Reclaimed, and um roxanne cooked some squash and i immediately passed because i don't eat squash but anthony all but forced me to eat it and it turned out to be pretty amazing i'm gonna go and tell you i for one hated vegetables growing up and here probably in the last eight years is when it changed i only ate like beans and peas and stuff like that i i'd eat all of that right but any kind of like leaf vegetables and all kinds of others i just did not like it that I grew up having to eat what was in front of me, whether I liked it or not. And once I got grown and started buying my own grocery, I ate what I wanted. And uh, But you always have to try new things because you might be passing up on the best thing you've ever eaten in your life. Right. If you eat it and you don't like it, say, I don't like it and don't eat it. You know, that that was always my rule with my kids. You're going to at least try it. Right. Give it an honest review. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But at least try it because yeah. you never know. I tell you what, I just seen that uh, two, one person says they, uh, you can get horse in the UK and you can get horse in Canada. Wow. Hmm. All right. Horse jerky. Woohoo. So does that mean someone will end up with Tara on the ridge in the near future, David? Come on, Homestead. Ooh, Shadow Acres, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Chanel will end up being uh, relocated when it's all said and done, for sure. Um, she's just so loud, guys. I'm going to miss her quiet walks. Yeah. <laughs> None of them. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the quietest I've ever heard Chanel, though. She is not doing her typical. She's about to pop. I like The bad thing about the, my current situation with the goats is right now, I have no idea when she was bred. Uh, that's why the goat enclosures and all that's a, a big priority for me because I'd like to be able to control when old chief does his thing. You know, I mean, we got 959 people in here. Hey. Come on, come on, homestead. And hey, guys, hey, Nona, how are you? I was actually just talking about you today. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, David Moffat. No, it was in my premiere yesterday. He was saying that he seen that I had a David Moffat. I said, No, I got a Nona. Yeah, right. You know right. what I mean? Can I talk about my little knife? Oh, it's in my other pocket. I use that every day, my friend. <sighs> Probably got it on there. I changed I changed pants before I came up here. I actually ended up taking a nap today and didn't get too much work done. Somebody was being productive enough for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't been no nap in here on Come On Mountain, I promise you. I would say the last three weeks, I what it happens every year, guys. I get sick in January. I go down for like three weeks and for y'all that don't know me on a personal basis on a day-to-day -day basis it is hard for me to just stop right it messes with me up here like i most people's like hey just stop and take a break it messes with my mentals because i'm all i can't take a break because all i'm thinking about is what i'm not getting done right so whenever i go down sick like that for three weeks i then i'm instantly i'm behind i'm behind i'm behind and every single time as soon as i start feeling better <laughs> we wide open and that's kind of what's going on right now i'm wide open nap what's that yeah yeah nap grumpy grandpa patriot show earlier when you were talking about that said you ain't gonna get any meat off of mike no <laughs> <laughs> we can make some bro some stock we can at least make some bro you know what i mean Hey, I heard a bone marrow used to be a delicacy yeah. in somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I, I've eaten quite a bit of bone marrow in my day. Bison burgers are awesome. Yes, they are. I've heard. I've not bison is a chance amazing. to have bison. I have had black bear and moose burgers. I will tell you that probably elk is one of my favorite burgers. Elk burgers are just on a whole nother level. 
Gwen, I like your shirt. Thank you so much. Uh, one of you awesome subscribers actually made this shirt for me and sent it off. I do apologize. I just don't remember who it was. Brian Wilkerson, what's going on, bro? Dwayne Nick says, David, I don't talk much, but I love what you're doing on the homestead. Can't wait to move out of Cali and do the same thing. Nice. You're definitely on the right plan. First thing you got to do is get out of there because uh, they're not very friendly with this type of lifestyle. Nora Hollingsworth, don't say things like that. It hurts my feelings. She said, good evening, David. Mike, I know you won't acknowledge me, but good evening. I almost didn't acknowledge you because it was not typed in all capital letters and at come on homesteading. Yes. Um, Y'all have to work with me, guys. We have, where are we at? 964 people in here right the now that two of us are trying to <laughs> chat with. If you want me to see your comment, your best chances is, is to one, hit at come on homesteading, which highlights orange on my side, which instantly makes it to where I can see it a little better and capital letters. Or do like old Texas Grammy B does right there, and super chats as well show up like this big on my screen. Yeah, and, and stuff in different like colors. That. So it makes it easier for me. If I miss your comments, guys, it is not intentional. Trust me, I want to read every one of them. But at this joker be moving. Joe, <laughs> try to have a conversation with a thousand people at one time. Joe Lotto, we ain't gonna do that. He said, "Good to see uh, Mike has the truck." up so he has more power from an eight cylinder to blast through the mud <laughs> yeah because he was rolling on about five cylinders guys <laughs> hey guys love watching you both texas grammy b thank you very much thank you so much bone bro <laughs> hope you're feeling a tad better brother tim uh name one of your chickens timifer <laughs> Uh, oh, well, that would have to be the rooster because she's the boss. Come uh, on. Simple Life had uh, mentioned uh, two different things. Number one, I do want to give a big shout out to uh, to Lissa and to Mary from Junk to Gems Homestead. They did something yesterday that was first time ever in their whole life they ever did. They actually killed a chicken Oh, and <laughs> uh, processed <laughs> it, cut it, gutted it, the whole deal. I'm very, good job, girls. Uh, originally... He may see your comment better like this at Come On Homestead. There you True go. That. Highlighted and Yeah, it's caps. literally like that big on my screen, guys. And in all caps, yeah. Yeah, and in all caps with the at Come On Homestead. And Tim's on it. Oh, we're about to hit a 1,000. We hit 1,000. Seven more. 993 in the house. Share a friend. Tell your, tell your grandma, your meemma, your peeball, and your hee-haw. Tell them all. Tell them Get them all, all in here. Get them all Oh, let's see here. Mike, how much do you guys handle, or how do you guys handle sewage? Just like everybody else. One flush at a time. One flush at a time. I know I don't typically talk about that because I don't like to talk about my the bottom line is is it's it's a big situation. It's a real crappy situation. (laughs) Nobody wants to sit here and talk about talk about that. I mean you want you guys want a video of transporting the honey pot to the dump and dumping the crap everywhere? We'll get it rolling. Susie Jacobson's member for eleven months. Have I already been doing (laughs) members for eleven months? I love that you have an amazing kitchen now. Thank you so very much. Me too. I am I'm as happy as a puppy with two Peters. Man. Come on. And David and Moffitt, Moffitt does get for five. 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 Oh, speaking of which, I also got seeds. Oh, okay. from the dollar seed. Nice. Matter of fact, hold on. Hold on. Yep. Yeah, and uh, David has a septic system now. What? And we will eventually have us a septic system, and we won't have to haul it around a bunch of haul it at your feet. <laughs> Might as well, though, because he talks a lot about it. I talk a whole lot of <laughs> Cindy Brown dropping the links. Thank you so much. Cora Phelps, hello, dear. Oh, wow. Oh, there's that dollarseed.com. I turn it around. Blue B, yes, it is seed time. Get your seeds at Dollar Seeds. Come on. This makes me happy. I am ready for the raised bed. He hooked me up, guys. We got some rainbow popping corn. We got silver king corn. We got silver cream corn. We we got some Indian corn. I am part Indian, by the way. I am also part. I am last of the Mohicans. Come on. (laughs) We got a complete vegetable garden kit. Come on. Got all kinds of what's happening in here. 
Woo, let's see here. Ooh. We got a fresh garden salad kit. Now, I like my salads, but ain't nothing like a chef's salad. I think I have this same package. Then you would get off my, my you seam cross eye in my seam. And that, this is that jewel mix. I, I, I can't. I, what's that word? Uh, Nas. Nastrachium? Nastrachium. Uh, complete herb kit, which I'm excited about this one too, guys. I'm actually thinking about doing a whole little herb garden. What's happening? I love cooking with fresh herbs. Love it. Uh, got some more corn and some, some more corn. corn. And then we got some lettuce oak leaves. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that a subscriber sent that I was actually working behind the scenes with uh, for DD5 here. Yes. As well. I'll be, uh, if he decides to end up selling these, then I will end up uh, talking about it a little bit more. But he actually 3D printed these. First, we're going to go with the big one. Check this out. That they're, is awesome. They're coasters. That is so awesome. That one's a big one. I guess that's for whenever I'm drinking that big old thing of sipping. Hey. Drink. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, right here. Check that out, guys. It's 3D printed. Got the little coaster thing on the back. That's cool right there. He's talking about maybe selling them. Uh, he said if I didn't mind or whatever, I don't mind. Uh, it, it's fine. Um, it's really cool. Oh, 1,000. Like, we hit 1,000. It's a block party. But, yeah, those those are pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's man, it's been a big week. I also want to give a big shout-out to Pops. Man, uh, Pops is amazing. Pops, are you in here? I haven't seen his comment yet. I, I don't think I've seen Pops. Um, and this has nothing to do with me, guys. Um, Pops reached out to me, and uh, he has my address, and I text Pops on, on somewhat of a regular basis or whatever. Pops has been around for a while. He is a wonderful friend, great subscriber, and all this other stuff, and does a ton for the community and everything. And uh, he's seen that Country Road Cure uh, was doing the concrete, and the concrete mixer over there on the 41.36 broke. And uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, there's something on the way for uh, Country Road Cure and Simple Life. Yeah. Claim, uh, be on the lookout for it. And if you could, get that to him. And what showed up? A new concrete mixer for Man. those guys. So, Pops, you're the drill MVP, brother. I love you. Yes, yeah, Simple Life said he is a champion. I appreciate you looking out for the community. Um, and he's one of the nicest people in the world. I, I mean, I, I talked to him on just about a weekly basis. Nastershiam is the name of that. Nastershiam. Nastershiam. Uh, Y'all know that I'm horrible, horrible with names. Cindy Brown, thank you so much. Uh, I did miss that comment. Uh, oh, uh, Miss N uh, Nora Hollingsworth said, give an old lady a break. I'm 71 years young and don't know how to do all that technical stuff. Just wanted to say hi from your hometown of Charleston, South Carolina. Well, come on with the Charleston, South Carolina. Hey, well, you figured it out, didn't you? <laughs> you got old Mike to notice it right there. Diddy Boo Homestead, I need to talk to you. What's up, Dana? I need to talk to you. I'm coming your way here very soon. I need to know what your availabilities are. Gooby to Dooby Doo said, David, how do you upgrade the membership? I don't know. It's a good question, huh? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's in the settings somewhere. Honestly, uh, White Rock Homestead over there has done a ton of research on the memberships uh, recently. Because as you've seen right here with old, uh, Susie, it was 11 months ago I set these memberships up. So uh, White Rock just, just started their membership. So uh Check with them, and uh, they, they might be able to answer that question for you. I also heard that iPhones are having a hard time uh, joining off the iPhones. So, oh, speaking of which, the merch. Oh, man. The chicken video. I was actually sporting one of the sweatshirts. Uh, I, I finally got my sweatshirt in, and, uh, man, the merch is. So uh, you can find the merch over there at Bonfire. It's in the description of all of my videos and also at the About page. The merch is phenomenal. I will be making a youth one for the kids here soon. Um, I, as soon as I get to a point where I'm done with the inside of this, where I can sit down on this computer for a little while and actually design some stuff, right? Um, I will be designing a youth series. And uh, I also want to do the, uh, the shirt of the month. 
here very soon as well. Ten dollars super chat, cuddly Texans, and has midnight taken to her sleeping quarters yet? Um, she sleeps in the shed, and she will. Not, I have not seen her sleep in it yet, but I have seen seen her sleep on top of it. But <laughs> like, she, I I think it's the door's a little too tight for her to like feel comfortable sleeping inside of it. Right. But you know, it's kind of soft or whatever, and it's like flat right now in the shed. And yeah. I walked in, and she was sleeping on top of it, so she's getting some use out of it. I put it in her favorite little shed out there where she likes to hang out. Uh, Ridge Lab said, I will be in Fort Smith at Temple live seeing Blackberry Smoke with Drew and Lindsay this Friday. Yep. That then, sounds amazing. Then Tim's going to be on Come On Mountain on Saturday. What? Him okay. and old Timifer. Yep. And old Jen Jen? Yeah, I don't really care about seeing Tim. Uh, look forward to seeing old Jen. You know, we know that she's the one running things. That's right. And uh, I'm going to crack the whip. I know he's got a tour in MCL and all that other stuff, but I mean, I got projects. So, so I'll put him on a stool somewhere and have me making up some bolts or something. We're putting him to work. We're Glenn and Shannon work. Salty Live said, Tim, a wheelbarrow or a, or a wheelchair? Yeah, there you go. I'll put him in the bucket of Uber and <laughs> move him around. I mean, we'll we'll get him to work. Uh, come on, Homestead. Teresa Allen said, my husband said to tell Mike to go put an ad in some farm stores, ask for a free fill dirt. There's people that will deliver free dirt there. Hmm. Yeah, we need about interesting uh, about 500 truckloads. Yeah, yeah, give or give or take give 100. Or take. <laughs> give or take 100. You need a chicken emoji. Yes, and when Tim is here, that's one of the things I'm going to put on Tim uh, and try to learn how to remember it this time. Yeah, so I can copy yeah, so you can learn how to remember. <laughs> Tim helped me set up my membership, guys, and he was showing me the, all the emojis, and it was like well, a YouTube University weekend. I was showing him things he was showing me, and I have forgot how to do the emojis. That's why I have not made none. We have broke, I think we have 120 members right now, Man, guys. Nice. Um, all different levels, and uh, I, I, which means I qualify to make more emojis. Right. So I definitely need to do some chicken emojis um probably a couple of goats blue bean uh, definitely we need to record it yeah and all that and we'll, we'll record it and we'll get it because uh i definitely need to make some more emojis because we are we are definitely eligible and i try to give i've been given a lot of the pictures there's different tiers for different things but i've been given a lot of the pictures i've been putting out lately the all tiers hmm. just kind of showing what's going on a little bit showing a little love um for y'all's patience and stuff because sometimes i get busy and i don't get to do as much for the members as i'd like to um so i've been trying to at least take a lot more pictures here lately Rhonda cable three dollars super chat i love you david love rylan oh thank you i love the kiddos shallow so shallow acres are y'all coming to the meetup i really hope so i think they are i really really hope you are coming because i, I would are. really love to meet the kids that they are so special to me Shiloh Acres' uh, husband Rob is uh, turning the big double nickel tomorrow, okay. and he's getting a new welder coming up. Ooh, such a one! Now that gets me excited. Yeah. You, you know my background now. A, a brand new welder. They proud of those jokers right now too, boy. Let me tell you, my yeah. brother, my brother owns a steel company, and boy, he tells me the prices. They're not what they used to be when I owned the steel company. Uh, let's see here. Ridgelight says David uh, won't do much for his members here. Ridgelight members only. I promise you, Tim ain't working or his members. <laughs> Tim ain't working on nothing. Nah, I've been a member of Tim. I've been a member of Tim for three years now, right? You do, Tim's not even a member of mine. For three years, I've been a member of old Rich Life over there. And he ain't even a member. Dang. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, what's that say? What's Steve, that say? Steve Walker said, "Did you ever get your computer fixed properly?" <laughs> not really. Not really. It's good enough, but I'm not gonna lie to you. This model Adele is one of the worst models I've ever dealt with in all of my IT career. Oh, Nancy figured out how to upgrade her members oh, from so writer Mark, to supervisor. So Mark Robertson's Mark. a new Miller, new member. Nice. Welcome, Mark. So whoever was asking earlier how to upgrade memberships, 
Talk to Nancy. <laughs> she just figured it out. Joe Lotto said, make sure you get some of Timifer's favorite drink, Bud Light. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, if y'all watched the Fire Day Friday, there was some Bud Light in my refrigerator, which I'm not happy about. Right. That's Gumby. Thanks I, a lot. I, I'm going to spill all the beans. That's Gumby. When he came and stayed on Come On Mountain, he left that trash in my refrigerator, and it was still there like three months later. That's you know what, though? With you, I know you said with your with your computer going down, and it was the worst model ever and stuff, but I got a... Our my our computer that Lisa uses is this it's like the same model but just a spec down from yours and it yeah. is fantastic. I yeah. love our computer. Mine sucks. I think it's the processor because I got the newest, latest, greatest processor, and I think that processor is trash. We're still kicking over a thousand. Nice thousand and one still. Oh, we're 50 minutes too. Carolyn, welcome to the rider supervisor. Ooh, nice. Mama Carolyn's a supervisor. Come on, Homestead. I talked to the dirt company. Tell them your advertiser company and get you a discount. Mm, that's a yeah. cool idea, Chase. Yeah, that, that ain't a bad idea. Um, it doesn't work um, as well as you would think, though, yeah, it's sometimes. Not really. Sometimes it does. Sometimes though. it does, though. It never hurts to ask right. the way I see it. I did get uh, $5 off my meal one time over at the Mexican restaurant. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hi, y'all. If I didn't say that, by the way, oh, hey, Teresa, how are you? Come on, Homestead. Why don't you let the poor cat in the house with you? Because my cats are not inside cats. My cats yeah. are outdoor cats. Um, first of all, this tiny house is mighty small for a litter box, and we already have a domino in here. Yep. And I don't know if domino wants somebody else in here. <laughs> and, uh, Midnight is extremely happy out there. I am thinking, being that Ryder has been gone for a while now, I and mean, I'm not going to give up total hope, but it's bleak. I'm not going to lie to you. I have been thinking about getting another cat um, for Midnight to have a companion. Right. Um, because it's been a little while. I didn't want to just bring another cat onto the mountain or whatever, but I actually drove by somebody that said free kittens the other day, oh. and I was thinking about it. So um, there might be a new cat coming to the mountain here soon. That way, Midnight's got a partner. Yeah. Or works little field. Jamie and Kevin, what's up, guys? What's going on? Here? I drink lots of coffee. Very rarely drink alcohol. Hey, Jamie, you know what? We need to get together and plan a poker night coming up soon. I know we were supposed to play poker at the Super Bowl party, but because of Drew showing up three hours late, we never got to Drew's play. always going to show up late, but he always shows up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, you just got to know people's <laughs> things. You know, Drew, if Drew says two o'clock, count on about five or six. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just Drew. But I tell you what, he always shows up. And when he shows up, he shows out. That's right. Guaranteed. I love Drew. Drew, Drew, Drew is, and Lindsay are amazing human beings. Angel Blake, I miss Ryder not giving up on him. You know, speaking of that, uh, Sunday when Lisa and I came home from the 41.36, on the right side over where that abandoned chicken house was or whatever, mm -hmm. I saw a big black cat over there on the right. And I stopped and got out and I was like, Ryder, Ryder. And the cat looked back at me mm -hmm. and like stopped for a second and then kept on running. I'm going to tell you guys, I've searched that chicken house several times right. because I know who owns it. And uh, that's typically where they all hang out. And I've searched several times. Come on, Stephen, what? An honor for a knife to be named after me. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't cut me with it. Come on. That's right. <laughs> uh, Drew for mayor. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alpha uh, Smith said, uh, David and Mike, yeah. what uh, were you about to read that? Yeah. What land app are you using? I am using X Hunt. You use X Hunt? Yep. That's one of the most popular ones. I use an app called Hunting Point. Hunting Points. My mom texted me. I guess she commented and I didn't see. Oh, I didn't see it either, no. uh, Nana. And Nana, I do. Sorry about that. Nana called me the other day, actually. Uh, to talk to me, but I was at the hospital with Jacob at the time, and I forgot to call back. I'm sorry. And for the record, I typed in your name just like I did right there, and you was not in the chat whenever I was giving you a shout-out. Right. Um, so, 
but Nana is here. My mother is here. Like I said earlier, she has been killing the videos, been putting them out. Got some more coming and stuff. She had some back issues and stuff like that she was dealing with for a while, so fell off on, on a little bit, but right. she is coming back like Holyfield, swinging. That's right. Coming back, swinging. And yes, guys, there is a meetup planned to win Nick's. It's going to be May 17th, 18th, and 19th at Blue Mountain Lake, Arkansas. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The uh, the biggest day will be Saturday. There'll be scheduled events going on, different time sections, you different dunk, things. You can dunk a drifter. You'll be able listen, we're going to have a dunk tank. We're going to be raffling drifter off down. e bikes, portable power stations. Maybe even a pew pew. At, at, at about 95% chance with the pew pew. 95. You guys are going to get a, there's going to be activities for kids to do. There's going to be a fishing tournament. First place grand prize is going to be a fishing kayak. Mm. There's going to be some things happening. I know I know somebody is going to be um, heavily involved with the fishing part. Mm, I might know someone that mm. might be involved. Uh, Brenda Moody, uh, David, what is the name of your sipping cream? I think it's Old Smoky and Appala Appalachia. Appalachia. I, 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 yeah, that. Um, different ones. Um, I try different ones. Um, I really like the like cookies and cream and the uh, brown sugar one and the pecan one. Oh, Levi was in but here. I, What's up, Levi? What's up, son? What's going on? My son will be at the meet up. Nice. Yep. My son will be there. I think he might bring some friends. <laughs> Bobblehead said e bike races. Yeah, I'll drag you now. Speaking of Bobblehead. Brother, I already got a hen trying to go broody on me. Already. Already going broody on me. Man, that's a beautiful flock that uh Jeff hooked me up with, man. I mean, he is like the guru master of chickens. Yeah, and, uh, he is. The good thing about it is, is I got to tell him what all chickens I got on camera. So if I ever forget, I can go back and refresh my memory. Right. Good night, all. Work comes early, and like I said, great kitchen ideas, David. Come on, mountain. Thank you, Birdman. Birdman, Dan. Uh, lonely hitchhiker Kent. Frankie is teaching tractor lessons. Hey, yes, Tim. I will be giving out tractors lessons on how to pull tractors out of the mud. <laughs> is there going to be a push-up contest? Um, <laughs> if y'all watched the Keeping It Real uh, yesterday, I went ahead and got me some in the mud pit with old boy right here yep and actually uh lissa i thought she ended it but she kept it rolling and she caught me getting the mud too on our last dream he break. actually cheated a little bit he went on the highs so he didn't actually have to get i mean mud. there's no rule on where i have to place my hands <laughs> he, when i he, do my push-ups i was trying to get him down in the, in the deep uh, how many's left now 41 uh yeah 41. 41 yep we're down to 41. good night barbara hopkins well, matter of fact, while we're talking about it, go and give me one. Might as well. Is there Might a well even it out, right? Blue B. There are no deadlines on this push up nope. until they run out. Here, you can get you one right now. Make sure hey, make sure my back is level. Yep. I don't I, want anybody saying I didn't yep. do it. Let's get it. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. There you go. There we go. <laughs> I love that. So now we're at 40. We're at 40. <laughs> I plan on at least saving one for next Super Bowl. <laughs> like this is gonna go all year, guys. All year. Time for a Bible study. Hope everyone has a great night. You too, Evelyn. Good night, Evelyn Newman. <laughs> uh, we still got a thousand nine people in here rocking with us. Thank you guys so much. Come on, Homestead. When will we see the final kitchen reveal? Ooh. Actually, you're going to see buying the property and a new property tour first, and then you will see the bathroom reveal. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to see the final kitchen reveal. So there's a lot of huge thing, guys, going on right now. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I'm telling you, you want to. There, there's huge things going on. The bathroom, I'm telling you, the bathroom is so sexy. I created, I created something behind that toilet that oh man, masterpiece. A masterpiece. And I literally had no clue what I was gonna build. I just kind of had a picture in my brain of what I wanted. And I impressed myself with that one. I'm not even gonna lie. Graceful, did I say that right? Graceful? Gracie, 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 Gracie Clara. Gracie Clara. Get Mike a yoga mat. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what? That's ironic you said that, Gracie, because 
I've been getting up early in the mornings now and doing a lot of stretching. And um, Lisa and I are trying to get on a routine to where we can get up in the morning and start doing some meditation and stuff like that. And I find that stretching really, I love it. It makes me feel so much better. I actually started about three weeks ago when I started this whole gauntlet that I'm on. I actually do a whole stretching routine in my shower. Nice. Every night. It's not a major one, or and I I typically stretch in the morning a little bit anyways because I need to to unlock myself. Right. But uh, in the shower, when I got all the hot water going on me and stuff, um, and I got a pretty big shower, guys. Right. I, I I know on camera it don't look that big. It's pretty big. You could probably downward dog. <laughs> yeah, I could probably downward dog <laughs> in there. Um, but I do a stretching routine every single night, and it, it's definitely helped for sure. Auntie Anne said the bathroom and kitchen is amazing, David. Nice. I, I've actually sent Auntie Ann pictures of both. Yeah, okay. Because Auntie Ann is my rock star. And she's been with me since I had like 36 subscribers. Right. So, Texas Grammy B, if you'll send me an email at driftingdreamers5 at gmail.com, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit more in depth about what uh, hotels or Airbnbs are in the area. Carrie Lynn Parsons says, David, your homestead is a happening place. Yes, it is. It is. We stay moving and grooving around here. Junebug, I do not think stretching is going to make me any taller. <laughs> no. Thanks to both of you for the amazing content. Big Burt's Adventures. You're very, very welcome. We definitely uh, put a lot into it, and we try to put the best uh, product out there that we can. But at the end of the day, guys, it's our life. It's, That's right. It's what we're putting out there. It's what, what we do on a daily basis. I never make any video just to make a video. I never do something to make content. Right. I film my life and yes. what's going on in my life, yeah. what I'm building. Trust me, I got a million and one trolls that wants to tell me what I should do, when I should do it, and everything else. None of that dictates my timeline, my timestamps, nothing like that. I do what is right for me in this journey that I am on building this yep. homestead and this adventure that I am on. And I'm bringing you guys along. And for the ones that love it, I love y'all and I appreciate it. And for the haters, hey, I'm glad y'all watch too. Appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment. And you know what? It's something to keep in mind because even though it does say, come on, homesteading, this is not a, a homesteading channel. Only. It's not a building channel. This is a daily life vlog and you're just going to get his life. And that does include mostly homesteading. I will tell you this. Building is the main thing that everybody wants to see, right? Right. Building is... About 10% of homesteading. Only about 10%. You know what I mean? Homesteading is on such a huge, huge diverse thing. I, I mean, it's everything from tending the chickens to goats to fixing your truck to dealing with the road to going to get supplies to Mother Nature kicking Man. your what's happening. I mean, <laughs> you you name it. It's it's a wide range of what's happening. Thumbs up, everybody. Hey, I made it here barely. Anyways, hey. I'm happy to be here. All right, Connie. Well, thanks for coming, Connie. Thank you, Connie. I'm glad you're here. Hey. Let's let's turn the whole head upside down. You got the whole head in the wrong direction. Let's get your head up the other way, then you'll be smiling. Come on. Simple live reclaim. You're hitting those notes, bro. Sang them. Sang them. Preach. That's what I, what I said. Hey, preach. <laughs> uh, I'm four foot nine. Wow. To blue. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Hey, mighty things come in small packages. That's right. I, I'm just saying. List is a shorty. Uh, I know what I said. Come on, homestead and preach it, sweetie. Preach it. Yeah, I'm never going to allow my channel to be dictated by what people tell me that I should do. Um, this channel was from its origin and its beginning was to document who I am for my great great grandchildren. That's never going to get a chance to meet me, you know. Um, so I'm going to be true to who I am and what I do, and that and that's the way it is, you know what I mean? Um, I try to put out the best product possible and I try to make an excellent video every time that I do and I work very, very hard at it, but I'm never going to do anything for a view. Right. Ever. Right. Ever. Just like my side channel, come on, keeping it real. I'm always going to keep it real. And there's, I mean, it's a 
a lot of personalities out there. It's a big world. Everybody's not going to agree with me, and right. I get it. It's fine, but that's okay. Hey, I'll give you a hug, too. That's I love right. you. Hey, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. It helps me, too. <laughs> just, just get some hit one hit, hit, hit something hit something Ow. uh let's see when uh when is your next viral video we know what your top three are need more rich life shirts to make it happen <laughs> tim rich life shirts don't work <laughs> <laughs> oh we done went over five minutes i think we're gonna go nice. ahead and call it Man, this was a blast. We still got 945 people in here. Uh, we went an hour and a half. I hope everybody had a blast. I needed this, guys, because I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, sometimes, you know, even some of the strongest mind people or whatever has those days. And last night and today was a was a rough one for me. So sometimes yeah. you get worked down. Yeah, y'all guys helped me uh, pull out of it. Um, I almost felt defeated there for a minute, but well, we came back swinging. You know, we go toe to toe like Mike Tyson come out, right? <laughs> come out swinging every single time, and you guys help with that. So I love y'all to death, and I hope everybody has a good night. And until we see each other again, come on, let's go on another.